So I wanted to show you a really cool mod I've just finished working on and I'll leave all the info and links you need in the description box below if you want to try this for yourself. But basically what I've got here is, is a region free Dreamcast and like you might expect what it does is it plays games from any region but unlike the other more common Dreamcast mods what this will allow you to do is play games from any region without the need for a, a boot disc or turning the console on and off or any of that kind of stuff. So all you do is you put your, your game in hit start or play whatever and it'll boot the game so really really cool mod very very um, convenient no need for for boot discs or any of that kind of stuff so what I'll do is I'll quickly show you the, the console booting up then I'll show you some footage I, I shot just after I uh, did the mod and then I'll quickly show you some gameplay and how the the, um, the mod actually operates so I'll just fire this up here, this is my PAL Dreamcast, you can see this is the one I installed that little SD card slot on the side but I've now got a little switch on the side as well that'll let me switch between retail and region free BIOSes so uh, I'll get into more detail on that in a minute but I'll just fire this up and you can see what happens so let's turn that on and look at the screen So straight away you're seeing a completely different animation to what you'd usually get on the, the Dreamcast. And that's the modified BIOS that's installed on this particular system. From what I understand it's got a retail BIOS that's been slightly modified with code from the development kit. So it bypasses all the, the region checks and you've also got your little uh, development kit animation at the start there. But yeah, what I'll show you now is just what's going on inside the, the Dreamcast. So here's a quick look at how it's all set up and I've actually just finished installing this one, it's the middle of the night and I'm using this little lamp here to illuminate everything so hopefully you can see it okay. But this is the type of chip that I've installed, it's a little flash ROM, you can see that there. Um, and basically what you do is you install that on top of the existing uh, BIOS chip that's in there, I don't know if you can able to see that. You can just see it's sandwiched on top of it there. And I'll show you down the side as well. So you basically just piggyback the existing chip and solder the little legs onto the, the ones that were already there. There's a couple of extra wires and uh, resistors you have to install as well. Um, Trying to focus there. So, yeah, it's quite a difficult uh, soldering job. But, um, here, there's a switch here as well, so you can switch between which uh, ROM you want to boot. So you can have the retail one or the uh, modified one. So you can have the region free. So that's kind of handy to have as well. But that's just a quick look at how it's all set up inside the Dreamcast. And just ignore this as is the, the SD card mod that I did a while ago. And that's under there. So that's basically what's going on inside the console there and I suppose the main reason for this mod is convenience and maybe if you're a collector like me you want to have games from all the different regions and you don't want to have to have separate consoles for each or you don't want to be bothered with using a, a boot disc or whatever. So a perfect example to show you this is Jet Grind Radio and Jet Grind Radio has a, a few different releases in different regions so you've got the Japanese version, you've got the North American version which is a Jet Grind Radio then you've got the PAL version which was again Jet Set Radio but right now I've got the Japanese version in the, the console here you can see the, the Japanese text there and up there so that's the Japanese version that's in the machine right now and this is obviously my PAL machine so I'll just open this up and usually what, I want, what I'd have to do um, if I was going to do this with my regular Dreamcast is I'd have to turn the console off and then put a boot disk in so I could then get it to play the, the North American version of the game but what I've done here is just opened it up and it's gone back to the, the menu I'll get my NTSC U version of the game here i just pop that in there shut that down and it'll check the disc no need to reboot the console or anything get loading up hit play 
and it will then boot the game. So that's it booting away there. I'll leave it to load just so you can see it in a minute. But basically the other reason you might want to do this is if there was games not released in your region that you want to play on your uh, console. So if you have a, a North American Dreamcast you want to play Shenmue 2, you can play Shenmue 2. My personal uh, favourite, one, one of my favourite games on the Dreamcast is Dead or Alive 2. And this is the Japanese version, the limited edition, and this actually has extra content on the, the disc and everything. So um, again, I can have that and just play it on my standard PAL console with a, a boot disc. And then again, you've got the likes of Seaman here, which wasn't released in Europe, so I can play that on my PAL system. So it's great for collectors like me who don't want the inconvenience of basically using switch discs and all that kind of stuff so really convenient I suppose you can see it's now loaded up into Jet Grind Radio and again I didn't need to use a boot disc or anything for that, I just put the disc in and it played so, so you can see it there Jet Grind Radio so that's a quick overview of the mod I've just completed um, Highly recommend trying this for yourself if you're if you're a big Dreamcast fan. It's great for collectors and uh, it's quite a tricky mod to do, but maybe you want to try it yourself. Or I think there's some people that will probably do it for you if you look online. But yeah, just a quick video to show you that. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon. I'll show you the boot intro one more time. Actually, turn this on. In fact, I didn't show you the, the retail BIOS booting either, so what I'll do is I'll quickly show you this. If I switch this off, flip that switch over, and I switch it on, you now see the regular boot up intro. So that's basically it running the, the retail dash.